Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Mean Boys Podcast. Ah, uh, with Aaron Engel. Yeah, me, Keith, and Aaron Engel on this motherfucker. Tom yeah. is still uh, en route via a series of hilarious vehicles uh, <laughs> to uh, to our shows in Portland. <laughs> Tom's currently hijacking a dirigible to try and go to the... I'm assuming he's going to be in Portland, Maine tomorrow. Yeah, but, oh God, probably. Well, I mean, just yeah, I haven't been checking uh, my text very, uh, very consistently, but uh, from what I can gather, he's had some train issues. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Tom will be there. He'll figure it out. I'm you just know? picturing Tom... You know those little like, like uh, railroad cars, yeah, the hand pump up and down. things, yeah, yeah, like an be... escaped convict in the twenties. He's going to be on one of those with a raccoon, like, like, hey, look, I don't like you, you don't like me. We're both trying to get up to there, so <laughs> let's just work together, and then I'll never see you again. <laughs> so yeah, Tom is coming up for our shows August 9th at the Big Lagrowski in Port- Portland, Oregon, ten p.m., ten bucks, live podcast, the whole damn show. Me, Keith, and Tom, some funny local comics. Tickets for that uh, are on sale at the link in our show notes, as are tickets for our show the next day at Jai Tai in Seattle, Washington. Yeah, that one is actually free. Yeah, oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, come to that. I didn't realize that was free. Yeah, it's a free show. Cool. Yeah, come the fuck out. Yeah, come to both of these. We are, uh, we're really excited to see you guys. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. We're, uh, I fucking, well, this is a place we've been trying to come up and play for the, uh, for the Mean Boys folks for a while. So we'd love to see you. We'll hang out afterwards. We'll figure, figure all that shit out. Uh, if you're new to the party and you want us to come to your town, uh, just go fill, fill out that tour sheet. Uh, that will also be linked in the show notes at our Twitter bio and everywhere else. Uh, you just tell us the closest, nearest major city you're willing to come out to to see a show, how many friends uh, you got, and whether or not we can sleep on your couch. We'll start booking our next big adventure. And, uh, uh, come see you guys because we love uh, being out in the road and fucking partying with you dudes and yeah. telling you jokes and shit. It's While you're filling out paperwork for us, leave us an iTunes review. Uh, we yeah. are currently at, I think, 333. Which means we're only 67 away from summoning Keith's mother. Yeah, we have to draw a white chalk Baphomet and spill some blood on there. Yeah, but we, we have will to fucking... sacrifice various varmints yeah. and then break a light bulb and then she's going to appear out of a puff of smoke yeah. cackling. We will pull my mother screaming from that dimension where Pinhead lives. No, my mom is actually very nice, but she also, I just talked to her about it and she was like oh yeah i'm ready I'm like, oh, no <laughs> god help us all yeah no oh, i just crashed with keith's dad and uh, you definitely you start to get where keith gets his uh uh acerbic wit <laughs> <laughs> you're like oh this this is uh this didn't happen in a vacuum so yeah leave us a review on itunes uh, this guy writes dang twig boys coming over here five stars now you listen to me mister I work for a living, and I mean real work, not writing down gobbledygook. I provide the people of this community with propane and propane accessories. And then he writes a whole review as uh, Hank from King of the Hill, <laughs> featuring a uh, a pretty uh, a nicely done shout out to BC Headache Powder, uh, which is a very Hank Hill product. So yeah, I don't I don't have an enemy to read the whole thing, but that's funny. So go go leave us a review, five stars on iTunes. It helps us out, it makes us look legitimate. And uh, if you want to uh, if you want to keep the lights on. Here, yeah, at the, damn Patreon. here at Me and Boys Industries, go go fuck with their Patreon page. Five bucks a month gives you weekly bonus content, and uh, ten bucks a month gives you a little goodie in the mail. Uh, Van Dam Academy bumper stickers have been brought on the road, as have the shipping labels. Those will be sent out very soon. I don't know exactly what we're doing uh, this month, but I promise it'll be stupid as hell. <laughs> hell yeah, it's so, gonna be uh, mad dumb. Go jump on there, and then yeah, five bucks four times a week. You get another hour of the boys talking shit, telling stories. Special guests dropping by. We just had Dave Cyrus and Eli Sayers on the on, on the pod the other week. You know, we have uh, you know uh, to fucking when the Nicole Buchanan comes over when she's sad in the middle of the night. We do a bonus episode sometimes. You know, <laughs> shit like that. It's a good time. So that that helps us out a lot. And uh, yeah, we're still very fucking poor. And uh, other than that, I think uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. All I you got to do is uh, you know pop over to YouTube, give us a subscribe there. Ramsey's a uh, Adderalled up and outfitting the uh, the house with cameras and equipment and shit, so we might actually be able to fucking videotape the show finally. Uh, so yeah, go subscribe over there and jump uh, on the subreddit. Jump on the Mean Boy subreddit. Get involved. Lots, you know? of, uh, lots of charming conversations going on there. Oh yeah, the charmingest. Yeah, uh, yeah fucking. You, you, if you ever wanted to discuss uh, which version of Skeeter you thought was colored the ba- I don't know whatever uh, <laughs> yeah go 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 on the subreddit and uh, for right now sit back relax and enjoy this week's episode of the Mean Boys Podcast with Aaron Engel uh, who oh shit oh. Uh, will be doing a show <laughs> she left me a note on a receipt uh, called Roast Beef Saturday the 18th it's like a roast battle kind of thing up here in Seattle it's at 9pm so uh, yeah go on Aaron's Twitter yeah. at Engel Time and check that out it's at uh, Jai Tai in Seattle check that shit out alright uh, here's the podcast
Hey everybody, welcome to the Mean Boys Podcast. Humans are the only animals with pubes. I'm Connor McSpadden. I'm Keith Carey. And I... Probably know how to play the ukulele. <laughs> Don't know how to play a single instrument, and that's e- perhaps even worse. Oh, wow. You know what's so funny is my initial slam that I thought of for Aaron was a backup tambourine player for the polyphonic spree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the poly... Is that like a hipster kind of candy? It's, it's, you get four, it to... it's 400 white dudes dressed exactly like that. Oh, gosh. Sundresses. Nothing but sundresses. Yeah. It, looks, it looks like the only cult you would never be a afraid of i'm wearing i'm wearing the joggers right now because that's the closest a man can get to the sundress life you know i mean it really oh, it really seems liberating built-in man spreading capabilities oh yeah you don't, you don't understand i've gone from a, a, an 87 degree angle i'm, I'm up to 112 yeah, on my these babies spread. are gonna make a subway very Ooh. uncomfortable oh, yeah. frightened woman i can take up three <laughs> seats on the motherfucking link train up here in seattle and i am enjoying every inch it's working. It's become this thing when we go on the road where Connor is like a he's like a fashion guy now, but just at like Ross dress for less. Oh no, that was very apparent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, wow. You got your wow. little your little pasty like really over upset ankle about range. my ukulele presumptions. <laughs> I see. <laughs> um, no, I only played uh, ancient tribal instrument instruments actually. So this was uh, a hand whittled voodoo yeah, situation. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Or anything out of a cigar with box. A little stick and you hit the ridges on his back. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Wish I knew the name. What the fuck is that? What, what, what's all rhythm frog called? Because there's a rhythm <laughs> well, frog. Well, it's called that now. Rhythm frog, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a rhythm frog in every damn elementary school music class. I'm like, all right, kids, and I, I bang who's on the, on the percussion toad? Yeah, yeah. Once a week, we go stroke the frog until it's time for PE, and then now we look. Now we know music. Uh, wow, what a great somebody just auditioning for Juilliard as the frog guy. <laughs> oh, dude, ring, ring. Like, that would be. That's, I have some, them in- that's the kind of YouTube videos they would watch in this house full of bongs. It's just at 4 a.m. We're like, dude, we're watching a rhythm frog solo. And holy shit, this guy just rips Dragon Force on a rhythm frog. <laughs> when they go up in size, they actually go down in timbre. So <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. it's pretty scientific. There's one guy mansplaining the uh, <laughs> fucking acoustics of frogs. It's like, how do I sound condescending drums? and retarded? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Way. By the way, for the listening audience, we are currently broadcasting out of Seattle from what I can only describe as Weed the Building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have, uh, we have uh, uh, crashed on a couch and uh, a series of couches. And uh, yeah, this is one of the stony below locations I've ever been. Like the amount no. of bongs in here just looks like like the distant like Crystal Palaces in Flash Gordon. Like it just looks like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Towers yeah. of an ancient kingdom. You remember Doctor Manhattan's Mars Castle? It's what if you could do a dab out of that? It's basically <laughs> a series of uh, like redacted Little Mermaid castles uh, that all have uh, resin inside of them. No frames allowed on posters. Oh, as oh no. Why would you? I mean, you want to see the edge of the canvas. You paid $25 for it at the art walk. You've got to appreciate <laughs> every single inch of the, I guess, lady wearing nylons. And what I love about this place, too, is like everyone is super, super nice. I'm not talking shit at all, but it's like... They took the weird roommate from every other house and just put them all in one house. Solidarity. It's really like a lint trap for weird roommates. It's a reality show called Who's Got Mushrooms? And the answer is everybody. (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, just uh, just the people walking in. It's like it's like a sitcom where it's only Kramers. You know, it's just everybody like, oh, well, yeah, it's uh, the guy who walked in and he's not wearing a shirt. What's up, buddy? The guy who walked in at 2 a.m. last night and was like, anybody want s'mores pizza or ecstasy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. S'mores pizza? Yeah. Which is, you know, better, like, better. That it Guess be which one we oh, took. This yeah. first pizza. <laughs> Man, we should have just taken like an insane amount of ecstasy and then just slept on this couch. Oh, I'm good. Yeah. Oh my god, this couch feels so fucking amazing. This, this, yeah. would, this would be a terrible place to completely destroy my because the Zoloft ecstasy combo is like deadly. So I would just wake up like horror of like I would I would wake up like. The apocalyptically covered in cum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> covered in cum. Not even his own cum. He summoned it from the sky. Yeah, yeah. Just it's errant like, loads from space. A rain cloud of cum followed me around like I was sad in a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Our lovely host Ian has uh, has come in to to take one of the bongs. <laughs> yeah, feel free to jump on here, dude. Yeah, yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh yeah, we were just uh, we were just kind of giving people the lowdown on the crib. I don't yeah. know if you heard us outside. Like walking here, hey man, has anybody seen my oversized joint? Oh yeah, it's in the rhythmic frog mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, has anyone seen a Louisville slugger full of sour diesel? Uh, because. <laughs> I got to go to work in like five minutes. And I, <laughs> yeah, I tied non, nine vapes together like a pan flute. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you want to hit the four foot bong, we could do that on stage. Too. Wow, the four I foot have a bong. name. <laughs> how, do you, how do you even get your Keep arm the down four there foot to, like, bong to, to light the weed? 
Yeah. It takes two people. That's why this is a house full of friendship. You know, if you if to smoke your bong, if you have to fire it like a World War II mortar, I feel like you might be overdoing it a little bit. I remember one time I I went to this dude's apartment. And they had a bong that literally was like it was from the floor, like damn near to the ceiling. You had to get on like a step ladder that they had then stacked two phone books on top of. Oh, oh Jesus. and it's just watching the highest man I've ever seen perch on Clamber a fucking like, on top of that yeah, like a broken tool. bird, just fucking yeah, hovering yeah. over this tube of death. That'd be great if they made a bong that you could slide down like a yeah. fire. You You're know, ready to make some station. memories. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then lose all of them immediately. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Aaron Engel joins us in the studio. Hey, Thank you for dropping by. Such a pleasure to be here with you guys. I hope you heard the verbal air quotes around the word studio. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, who was uh, very nice enough to drive us home from the Gateway show when we were all stoned and yelling about the band Foreigner. Oh, yeah. You're going to disrespect my fucking tape collection? <laughs> See if you ever get an invite back. Well, you, your, your car is just like, it, it looks like a single mom from 1985. Oh, yeah, frozen in best. time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Julia Roberts before she's famous. It's like it's retro. But it's not the cool retro. It's oh, just no, like, no. oh, we were doing yeah, our no. best, and Reaganomics hurt us all real bad. I mean, this is this is going to be like the twelfth time I brought this up this week for some reason. But it is the kind of car that the Catwoman from the Tim Burton Batman drives before she becomes Catwoman. You know, oh my god, absolutely style goals. Yeah. Yeah, 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 style goals to the max. Pre transformation Catwoman. Uh-huh. That's what you're going pre, for. Yeah. Pre transformation most makeover movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's where I sort of land. Oh, before Ingle. <laughs> well, you know, if you want a Ross dress for less makeover, you could have had one, but. Uh, uh, he seems like pretty rude to me about my, my, my camouflage joggers. He's asked you out of style how, tips from a man in camo capris. How long is it going to take to get those bottom three inches of your ankles tan, do you think? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm, I'm planning on having a nice ankle tan for the summertime. Just a nice band of, but, of tan right here. But spare the actual ankle with your tall white socks. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. I, well, they're not tall. I'm, I'm getting into no, the quarter not, socks tall. game. <laughs> Too tall for the look. They're I mean, also I've, darker than your leg. I, I don't like no-show socks. I like the quarter sock. I don't know why. Because yeah. you have terrible taste. I, I don't like my legs. <laughs> is part, probably part of it. I mean, I could agree with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, guys, host- uh, this is this happens to also every pair of pants when I when I sit. Down oh yeah, you're a tall guy. I'm gigantic, you know. Yeah. Unless I wear the the Uncle Sam outside of the Rite Aid during the <laughs> Fourth of July sale event pants, I'm pretty much fucked when it goes cross legged. I have the exact opposite problem where like anything fat enough for me is also too long. Yeah. I just look like a sad juggalo. You got yours. You got your jeans tucked into your shoes, and Connor's in perpetual capris. Yeah. yeah I'm just yeah. like if I roll it up five times, I look like a cool rockabilly guy, <laughs> not a pirate, right? Right. Like, right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Hey, why's everybody laughing? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got we got kind of punked by some dudes and just some like juggalos in Bellevue yesterday where they were like Bellingham. Kind of, Bellingham, okay, yeah, they were taking up like most of the street and I was just like, All right guys, be cool. <laughs> uh, just good, nothing that we don't want any trouble now, juggalos. <laughs> well you uh, first of all it was great say, seeing juggalos just out in the wild because oh, you don't get 100%. that in LA. And then Connor was like, Oh, we're gonna get beat up. I'm like, these are the frailest men I've ever uh, seen. Juggalos are a really kind people. They're uh, we I mean love, I love we're, we're a friend of the ju- I mean we the, the, the Aaron I don't know if you've gathered from our whole aesthetic. There is some crossover between <laughs> Juggalos and Mean Boys listeners. <laughs> it's a great, it's a great place to land. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful Venn diagram to be in the middle of. Oh, yeah. You know. Uh, okay, you have any? Uh, do you have a podcast or anything? Anything you want to shout out before? We uh, no, I mean, I, I I run the shows up. At, I know you guys have been talking about uh, Jai Tai and Capitol Hill in I, Seattle. I've heard legends of this place for years, and mm-hmm. I finally went, and it was a goddamn delight. So uh, if you're if you're in the Se- Seattle metropolitan area, you'd be a damn fool not to catch a show at Jai Tai, and you'd be even a bigger fool. I might I might venture to say to uh, to not catch one with uh, Miss Erin Ingle on stage. She's very funny, it's and talented. True. We appreciate you stopping by. What's your Twitter handle and all that shit? At uh, Ingle Time on Twitter. Uh, That's a fun one. Yeah, I had to change it after a few years as at Aaron underscore A underscore Ingle. Oh, no. It's kind of a mouthful. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, like, yeah. that's like your so. mom's Twitter. Handle, <laughs> right. You know? yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you're on multiple underscores, you're just like, I don't want anyone to find me. <laughs> Please don't say this out loud. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it is always like, because I am lo- I got kind of a weird name, so I just got the full name on everything. I'm yeah. spoiled, you know, but I'm like, I don't know what I'd do if I had to like, you know, fucking... I throw some good like Connor, silly Connor, or some shit. You know? <laughs> I got hosed because Keith Carey comedy is like two letters too much for a Twitter uh, handle. And did I, you try uh, it with three Ks? I, <laughs> what about Keith Carey comedy? <laughs> oh, because like come, yeah, no, yeah, shorter though, huh? Yeah, no, it's be the same exact problem. Yeah, yeah. 
You d- it's Keith Jokes or Keith Tell Jokes? Uh, Keith Tell Jokes. Keith Tell Jokes. Keith, <laughs> Keith, <laughs> Keith Tell Jokes. Fire back. <laughs> I think uh, Twitter gives you two extra characters if you make a cum joke in your, your handle name. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the grandfather rule. Yeah, Grandfather's yeah. I'll, cum I'll, rule. I'll yeah. DM Jack about it. I mean, me and him are on pretty good terms, so we'll see. 18 character max parentheses, unless you like to party. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, I think we're all fired up. What do you say we get into the Mexican joke off, gang? Let's oh do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> So topical. I'm full of fear. Everyone always is. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they always stink, dude. Don't worry about it. All right, guys, I'll take us away. Reports say that Osama bin Laden's son has married the daughter of a 9-11 hijacker. The happy couple is registered at Arlington National Cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, that is like the Brady Bunch of terrorists. I know, yeah. It's like, like Blue Ivy and St. West getting together, but it's with the death to America people. <laughs> I, I, it's fucked, fucked up. I read that and I was like, aw. <laughs> <laughs> Give you a little bit of hope. That's yeah. how conditioned Americans are to celebrity culture. I'm like, they don't even have to be good celebrities. I'm just like, well, I good. love weddings. <laughs> I mean, I bet, they, I bet they can relate to each other. Man, that would be like the, the, the oh man, that wedding is the royal wedding for 4chan. They're up at four in the morning watching the East Coast feed, you know, just like, <laughs> oh my God, what's he going to wear? Oh, I thought so. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. no wedding has ever invited more drones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also, it's kind of a thing of, like, I kind of get it, because if you're Osama bin Laden's son, it's going to be hard for you to relate to, like, 99.99% of people in the world. Oh, oh yeah, because yeah. of the hentai stuff? Yeah, yeah, that's what <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're just like, I love tentacle fucking, to a lesser extent, the destruction of Look, Western did civilization. I in, did I inherit my father's great public speaking or motivational prowess or his org- organizational, you know, fucking uh, tenacity. No, I did get <laughs> a boner whenever I see a squid. So I did like you just spinning a Bin Laden very positively. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like you're writing his LinkedIn profile. I mean, yeah. No, I mean, want... I have a lot of marketable skills. Yeah, yeah, I mean, nobody doesn't know who he is. I'm trying to pick up a PR job to pay the bills, you know. There's something to do part-time until this comedy thing pans out. I'm <laughs> trying to rehabilitate dictator's public image. So this is Osama's daughter Duterte, or son? get at me, all right? You're a couple of memes away from being a hero, I tell you. I think you saw Osama... what they did with Norm in Canada. It's a simple process. It's Osama's son and uh, 9-11, guys. Oh, great service around here. Oh, oh wow. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. He just brought us water because he's a very nice guy. He's yeah. Prince among men. Thank and you so I'm much. Ninety-three percent sure there's not acid in it. And to my <laughs> extreme shock, they're all in matching glassware. I know. I thought it was gonna yeah. be like, well, you get Scrappy Doo. Yeah. All right, you get the <laughs> Ghostbusters, and you get a, a Nutribullet that's still got protein <laughs> shakes stuck in the bottom. Drink this up, says everybody. to me one of two things: either one, someone here had a girlfriend at one point who tried to do their best to rehabilitate <laughs> the house, or two, someone robbed a pottery bar. Well, Ian's got taste. Ian's got. Fashion taste. I bet he's got some home decor taste as well. That's true. Ian. Mm. Ian is only, <laughs> there it goes. Ian yeah. is only not wearing a Deadpool shirt because he is on the clock at his job right now. So. <laughs> he rips the work shirt off Deadpool underneath. Oh, man. That'd be awesome. Love you, Ian. Sorry. All right. <laughs> you got a joke, Keith? Yeah, I'll go. Uh, Chris Rock has been cast as the lead in the newest season of the show Fargo. The series about a black man living in North Dakota is expected to air on the Sci Fi Network. <laughs> Uh, Love that's it. not where most of them are. Yeah, that's a, that's a good that's a good clean joke. That's a very, yeah. very solid. Should I pop in with my celebrity joke it. of the day? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I have a couple actually because I am not deep. Uh, let's see. Animal rights activists appalled at Dwayne the Rock Johnson's visit to the Georgia Aquarium accused, accused the celebrity of supporting animal captivity. They were, however, unbothered by him being trapped in a video game. <laughs> a Jumanji reference. Yeah, yeah, I tried. Oh, I got, oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is Jumanji we... a video game or a board game? It's a video game in the, in the new one. one. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 I haven't seen it. Had to look it up. That's... What a weird thing to be mad at the rock for going to an aquarium. <laughs> you fucking dick bringing your kid to get look Man, at some the... fucking yeah, blue yeah. whales like and shit. How dare you? You personally put that whale in that tank. <laughs> like if I like the, the like the more famous you are, the less you have to do to, for people to get mad at you. Like if I wanted to get a split sider article about me, I'd have to show up at a Proud Boys rally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, in my LARP gear. Yeah. But I mean, if you're Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you can look at a fish and all of a sudden you're the devil. <laughs> I'm so bummed that the Proud Boys thing is like blowing up right now because I just got into polo shirts with like the piping oh, on the sleeve. No. It's genuinely the only look that looks Wait, good on Wait, this me. is their look? It's, 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 the Fred Perry, it's like a like, Lacoste with, yeah, thing. Yeah, it's like yeah. the black polo with the yellow and black like thing. Ah. Solid look. Yeah. Bad people. Yeah, yeah. Bad people. I mean, dude, fucking, I, finally, I started doing the undercut like... 
like what six months before the goddamn alt right Charlottesville thing, and yeah. I was like, oh, son of a gun, man! You got it when it was still the Macklemore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. What we're saying is we're the real victims. <laughs> yeah. White supremacists. I have. I mean, I've hey, been hey, saying it, that about white men. Yeah. <laughs> hurt people, Thank hurt people, you. guys. All right, you know, I'm talking about wisdom here. Uh, a California company claims to have developed a marijuana breathalyzer to combat DUIs. The new device is called a kazoo, and if the suspect giggles into it after blowing into it, they will be taken downtown for further questioning. <laughs> That's how you find it's gonna it. work. High. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, "That's pretty fun." The kazoo, okay, you're coming with me. <laughs> the only instrument less grown up than the goddamn rhythm frog. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, man, you the rhythm frog. That seems like it would be your some kind of sexual nickname you would have acquired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ribbit for her pleasure. Yeah, man. Oh, so, no. oh, shut up! You love that. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Psychologists have begun using horseback therapy to treat depression in AIDS patients. Ironic, considering riding bear pack is kind of how you got into this mess in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel good about that. Hey, I, think you sh- I think you should. I like yeah. it. You're no, allowed. You, you got diplomatic. How many HIV positive listeners do you have? Uh, I mean, probably, uh, probably some soon. I guess, <laughs> yeah, I mean, knowing the, the lifestyles of some of our fans, it's common. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, we, we hope you're well. We love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. <laughs> if you stay do, positive. I, meet a horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stay positive seems like the wrong thing to tell someone with HIV. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think there's a ton of options. <laughs> it just feels like if I had AIDS and they're like, "Well, we put all that research money into here's a horse," and be like, uh-huh. "I gotta feel like there was a better spend there." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're like we. We got nothing with stem cells. We tapped the whole stem cell thing. Yeah, we're, we're going horse. Yeah, All we're right. going horse. Okay, great. Yeah, um, I've written, no, it'll cheer me up. Mr. Hands. <laughs> just want to get ridden out into the sunset. <laughs> oh, boy. You're up. All right. Uh, an Oregon man ticketed in three national parks this summer uh, culminated his weekend by taunting a bison in Yellowstone. Oregon lawmakers order his crimes punishable by deportation to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that, just that dumb shit, just looking yeah. at a bison boat. Like, well, that seems like going a Going for I broke. I think, do you think he wants to die? I, I think he wants to die hilarious. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. suicide by bison. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no. he hops out of the car and, like, is taunting the guy like he's a fucking torero. He's just like, I yeah. don't want to live, but I also want to make the front page of Reddit. What do I do here? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I yeah, I remember, my, I remember my friends explaining the concept of suicide by cop to me when I was younger, and then I was just like, I feel like you could do that, like, in just a more outlandish way, you know? Right. Like, just go listen to just just r- roll your windows down and listen to Come Town while you drive past like a lesbian street fair and just <laughs> <laughs> wait for you know wait for nature to take its course. Artisanal bricks. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> not oh. his crowd though. He wants the he I'm wants gonna, the wild. I'm going to break some hand blown glass and shake you with it. <laughs> <laughs> you ever get choked out with a wind chime full? Um, <laughs> your crystals don't work. <laughs> <laughs> just the idea of just a violent lesbian street gang is pretty funny. Oh, dude. Yeah. Just like the warriors. You know. <laughs> yeah. We're we're the Scissor sisters. We have matching outfits, and we don't take guff from anybody. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. The Tennessee mom left her child in a hot car so she could have, quote, just one drink for National Tequila Day. The child was unharmed, but authorities said they were just glad this didn't happen on smoke a whole brisket from start to finish day. <laughs> <laughs> Tennessee's treasured holiday. Yeah, here's my thing: with, the, with no more days, there's too many. You don't get a day anymore. You gotta unless you do some big, cool civil rights thing or go to Mars. No days. All right, I, I, National Waffle. I mean, day. Tequila Shut up. has done some things. Yeah, just because I just because you go down to City Hall and you fill out some forms and you and you give a ten thousand dollar grant to the Park Foundation, you, it, it's not fucking IHOP day. Suck my dick. I'm tired <laughs> of every single day on Twitter. It's like, well, it, I mean. Well, I guess I gotta have one. It is National Donut Day after all. Shut the fuck up. It's boring. It's stupid. It's a waste of everyone's time. Thank you very much. I cede the rest of my time to the gentleman from Orange County. <laughs> An Australian teacher accused of I'm sex- writing for Dennis Leary in the past. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> An Australian teacher accused of sexual misconduct is named Dick Grabsky. No. <laughs> if you think that's bad, wait until you hear about the school bus driver. Jeff ran over a kid and just kept driving, Perk. <laughs> <laughs> Why has he got to be Jewish, Keith? <laughs> yeah, Keith. <laughs> it was funny as it was originally Stein, and I'm like, somehow that feels too Jewish. So that feels like part of the thing. Yeah, you could have got uh, Mick kills a kid, you know? You could have thrown it on our, on our people. That, that would have been fine. The Irish have suffered. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. I've, I've brought shame to my, my island full of shame. <laughs> <laughs> the gym teacher, Jim, stands under the rope until the girls get just tall enough ski. Oh, that's uh, a real uh, bummer. Geez, uh, yeah, that's, that's no good. <laughs> I guess I mean at least you're not at least they don't have like gym sh- 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 like uh, skirts you know <laughs> yeah it's true they're they're, yeah. shorts 
Not defending this hypothetical gym teacher, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just stick, with the, stick with the bad bus driver. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Fuck yeah, that yeah. guy. Oh, oh God. Okay. Uh, it's just worse from here. Uh, plastic surgeons attribute uptick in surgery seekers to, quote, Snapchat, dys- Snapchat dysphoria. Patients commonly desire a flawless filtered look and to disappear completely after 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody has been like, turn me into the dog from Instagram. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, yeah. There's a guy knows. that was getting like, all that surgery to look like Kim Kardashian. And he did not look like her. But yeah, I read that article, too, where it's like, yeah, I want to look like this. I'm going to bring in like a Snapchat picture. And it's so fucked up. It's like nobody told these people about makeup. Yeah. Yeah. They already have a thing for this. <laughs> you want a quick fix for your ugly face? Well, it's, yeah. Not even Slap that. It's like no on. one told these people about the concept of horniness. Like you don't have to, like however you look, it's there's it's it's right for somebody. Yeah, you yeah, know? Like, yeah there's somebody up. for you or you can order a robot off of the internet. Oh, yeah, dude. There's no tr- Get yourself one of those uh, uh, symbios. What are those called? Where you write them, you know? Oh, Sibian. Sibian. Yeah, yeah. What is this? Whatever. I mean, uh, like, Sibian is like a... It's like a, a saddle, but it vibrates. So it's oh, that bit. sounds nice. It, it's the, just, it doesn't have a face or anything? No, no, no. It is soulless, and it looks vaguely German. It's a real <laughs> Yeah, I'm always torn on plastic surgery, because you, you do want people to you know, be happy in their body or whatever, but it's, sometimes it's just like, yeah, it's fine. They don't you know, stop. Tra- it's, you know, yeah, like, it's, mm. it, it's when it's up here, just like rearranging the face yeah. is when I get upset. Also, you know this person is going to get the Instagram like surgery and then just put a goddamn Instagram filter on it. Oh, again. yeah, absolutely. It won't be good enough. Yeah, you, like, you guys ever think how good being a photo. Yeah, how good that shit looks once that's filtered out. Mm, get a little Ludwig on that. <laughs> you somebody, they get the surgery and then they put the filter on. It just looks like their old ass face. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, no, we went through the looking glass. Is we- there a, a negative like Snapchat Insta filter where you can be like, like a bedraggled morning after filter? Oh, they, I'm sure they have some of those. But I do, oh, I yeah. do, I do like the, the refried beans element of like, sna- like putting a filter on your plastic surgery filtered face <laughs> right. you know, where you're just like oh shit well now I gotta get it done like this this is way better <laughs> I don't wanna I'm, I'm not stopping until I look like a, a bad porn drawing yeah, yeah. <laughs> $10,000 like, later I'm a bad man but I'm incredibly wealthy yeah, <laughs> thanks yeah. sad lady uh, you know how many girls I done took to the titty shop no oh, Kanye no I don't <laughs> alright so several Amer- South America has launched the region's first ban on plastic bags. Citizens aren't worried with one man saying, we mostly just shove them up our butt anyway, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> Drug smuggling. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm pro anything going in a No, butt. you have to shove a paper bag full of heroin up your butt. <laughs> or one of those reusable Trader Joe's. Like, <laughs> you have to one. shove a canvas bag full of China white into your butthole before uh, you go on an airplane. I like that and you're a like, lot. oh, man, it's, it's, it's for the environment. <laughs> a man, man wants to... some <laughs> bloody <laughs> coke. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to do it, but yeah. come on. Yeah. I like that they were fine with it being in a butt, but the blood is where they're like drawing I mean, the line. Doing, if you're doing any drug stronger than weed, you are accepting that it may have been in a butt. I mean, that's just part of it. And that. if you're doing weed, you're just hoping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, was that, yeah, do, would you ever put weed in your butt? No. I mean, do people do that? I feel like that hasn't had to We're be. We're really well, lucky on the West Coast. We don't have to deal with that. But I kind of I feel no like. No one has to put weed in their butt. I, I mean, feel like an you 18- got the need, baby. <laughs> the need for weed. I feel like. <laughs> Coat the little plastic satchel in peanut butter. Slide that thing up the butt. The peanut butter's just for fun. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, peanut butter is the worst <laughs> lubricant you could have possibly Well, I have shown. to get my dog but to delicious. lick it out. Yeah. Yeah. So I put it, Crunchy. Ow. I put peanut butter in it. I get my dog to lick it out. And then I have some rubbing alcohol. I force feed my dog so he throws up the weed. <laughs> then I dry it out. And, uh, it's yeah. simple. And, and that's be, why yeah. this weed is $600 <laughs> yeah. an ounce. And that'll be 20 this, bucks. This is a real old lady who swall- swallowed a fly situation. <laughs> really? it's, like, here. it's like those coffee beans that are shit out by rats that people like pay like top dollar. That's <laughs> cats, Connor. <laughs> is it cats? Yeah, no one is eating rat shit coffee. Is it that we big of a deal? can't catch the rats. Yeah. Here's the deal. That's where you get the plague. Here's the deal. They're both... They're both both any digestive tract, I, I have no interest in that be- becoming a, a pro- part of my coffee drinking experience. And also, cat and rat rhymes, and, you know. I, I get how you got there. Yeah, yeah. I wanted you to know for sure you were wrong. I feel like you're discounting the pleasure center of the rectum and thinking only in terms of intestinal tract. Uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, so, like, the coffee tastes better because the rat came? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> but. I've heard about these. I'm not a rat boner scientist. <laughs> I've heard about these. Uh, I've heard about these pleasure centers for a long time. You know, and I, to me, they're the, the principled Republicans of the anus. I've found no e- evidence that they actually exist. Pleasure center? Are you talking about GameStop? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pleasure center sounds like in, like, some sort of, like, 1984 futures where they go to just, like, milk your cum out. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's where you pick up Soma and Brave New World. 
Yeah, you, know? you get your two minutes hate, your four minutes come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's a, the whole store is shaped like a butthole, and you got to go. The, you, the, the prostate's the little bell you ring to get the guy to come out from the back and help you with your purchase. <laughs> yeah, we can do a whole thing there. Yeah. A man won $8 million after suing his wife for cheating on him. He says he owes the victory to his attorney, Johnny Cuckran. Nah. <laughs> Pretty stupid. <laughs> Johnny Cochran? <laughs> yeah, I've done a lot of Johnny Cochran p- puns. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, part of reprise. his name is the word cock. And yeah. uh, that's really, that's a gift. That's something God did for us, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's something the big man. But that was worth OJ getting off. Like, yeah, yeah. And right. and it was thanks to the cock ring that OJ made it that far. Yeah. No stretch. Yeah, no, nah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I watched you start. Real, it, it was like when Wiley confident. Coyote walks off the cliff but doesn't know yet. Yeah, so he's exactly. Still just walking just floating there. <laughs> yeah, like, one oh, time I, I yoink. Like, one time I let sleep. I, I let Keith sleep in my room. I'm out of town. You oh, know, God damn it! Yeah, no, Wait, I, sorry. When you said somebody was sleeping in the kitchen, is it Keith? No, no, no. That's the other it's guy. Tom, okay. uh, Tom Goss, our, our wonderful co-host. Uh, Hi, Tom. Yeah, Keith, sorry, I, I, I let him sleep in my room. I'm like I let him have sex in my room while I'm out of town. I'm like yeah, I just changed the sheets and I got back earlier than I was supposed to one day. And Keith's just waking up in the kitchen I go in my room and I'm I go I'm like I'm like tired I'm exhausted I just I was doing a military base gig I get back and I'm like, like looking around my counter and I pick someone up. I'm like oh god it's a greasy cock ring and I just <laughs> dropped it like I got electrocuted and I was like Keith clean everything you know <laughs> what you actually did was toss it angrily through the door yeah. and I got to watch my cock ring just clatter oin, 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 oin. and spin oh yeah. it's a hard one. Oh yeah it's a metal one so the I, metal one I don't want anything metal on my dong man no, no thanks you feel pretty rad so you don't fucking some, rock got, hard I, enough I've man a, <laughs> I've had like a jelly vibrating one and I wasn't mad at that but I mean any sort of like I'm like, I don't know. If this could go on a Viking's nose, I don't want it. You know? <laughs> so I just moved into a new house like two weeks ago. And my roommate and I are kind of setting stuff up, uh, wiping the gritty, sticky surfaces off of like whatever's high up. Right. Never got cleaned. And I found a, a little jelly cock ring on top of a uh, cupboard. Didn't know what it was. Thought it was just a regular, fun, like 50 cent machine ring. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then like doinked it at my friend. And she was like, oh, God, this has been <laughs> dark places. And then oh, in an amazing funny. twist, this is uh, the, the house we moved into a year ago before this. We found a like foot long pink dildo on top of a light fixture. Oh, so I feel geez. like we're being blessed. <laughs> Why are you putting them so high? I don't know. That's like when, uh, like, when like upholsterers write little messages on the furniture for the next guy who upholsters the chair. It's yeah. like, well, we like to leave a dildo every time we move. You know? <laughs> I'm like the Johnny Appleseed of bumming out new renters. <laughs> Dildos are expensive. That's like, yeah. What are you even th- leaving that behind? Yeah, bring that with. The, the cock ring was clearly like just uh, put out of sight and forgotten. Well, Probably like, still right. sorely like, missing. How, how, how bad of a night do you have to have with a dildo before you're like, I know this was like sixty bucks. We got the nice neoprene one. But, I mean, we can't use this ever again. <laughs> yeah. How many dildos do you have before you don't notice one's not there? That's the new relationship oh, thing where it's like, oh, got? no, no. I don't want to bring your ex-lover's pink dildo into this. this yeah. Is, and then you shove it on top of the light fixture thinking you'll deal with it later, but it's just out of eye shot. So. Yeah. You're, you guys yeah. bought it together early in the relationship. Mm-hmm. You try it and you're like, no, this is less fun than either of us mm-hmm. thought it would be. I mean, maybe she was you know, dating the short guy and she was punishing him. She put it up on top of the fridge and she's like, I'm not getting this back until you... <laughs> Go she put him on, on sex me. time uh-huh. out. Hector. Yeah, up, yeah. up. <laughs> Why is his name Hector? Because that seems like the name that a short man would have. Yeah, you're not wrong. Hector's Fair a enough. weak name. <laughs> It's a weak name for a weak man. Expect, expect some hate mail. Hey, so, fucker. I'm not worried. I'll take every one of you. Bring it on, Hectors. You just put your arm out on their forehead and they swing at you. Hey, how about this one? Name the single famous person named Hector. <laughs> Hector Elizondo. Who the fuck is that? He's an actor. No, he's not. He's <laughs> okay. Princess Diaries? Uh, yeah. That amazingly, yes. It's the only movie I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, he's in a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> the uh, point is, you're not. there's not a ton of them. Yeah, no. Well, I could kick his ass. <laughs> yeah, probably. Bring it on, buddy. I don't know. He plays a lot of like CIA agents and stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, fucking Yeah, but like with... old grizzled ones. Uh, like, yeah, that's, that's the worst kind of And really <laughs> just that one in The Princess Diaries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he does a lot of... the only movie I've ever seen. <laughs> you do a lot of... Period, st- the only movie you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> you do a lot of stage combat for your little movies, Hector, but I, d- I do a little martial art called podcasting, and guess what? You're talking to a seventh degree fucking black belt. This, okay. this is the celebrity feud no one has been waiting for. Oh, dude. I've <laughs> <laughs> charity boxing match. Me and Hector w- was sewn at whatever. The charity is paying Hector Elizondo's rent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been through some dark times. Indeed. Uh, that I love you, Hector. I'm a big fan of your work. Nah, fuck that. We're fighting him. Aaron, you're up. I'm up. Uh, let's see. An Illinois teen tragically passed away after being found non responsive at Lollapalooza Festival. Authorities blame Post Malone. 
<laughs> what did he do? Just being boring. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know Post Malone looked like that. I had only heard him on the Kanye song "Fade," and I thought, yeah. "No, this guy's black me. at least." Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. No, I, I, did, he, I no. I didn't no. really give much thought to his appearance, and then I started seeing pictures of him, and I was like, "What the hell? This is like kind of a, one of those weird action Bronson things, where he's oh. a, a redneck that wears SoundCloud clothes." Yeah, yeah he looks like dudes. a gas station clerk. Okay, yeah. yeah. I've kind of had enough of that mold of rapper. He's, yeah, he's got the face tattoos that say "Always Tired" on him. You know? Yeah, it's like, just, I like dumb yeah. rap music, but I check out. At a certain point, every time know? I see those guys, I'm like, just buy an ATV and be what you were born to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just yeah, go yeah. Be dumb trash. All right, uh, Infowars shows have been removed from iTunes, Spotify, and Facebook. Thousands of listeners took to the street outside La- Apple headquarters, shouting, "Zunes will not replace us." <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the last joke of mine. <laughs> uh, which crappy one do I want to close with? Um, yeah, let's do this one. A red tide is wreaking havoc on wildlife in the waters off the coast of Florida. In related news, Florida red tide is what it's called when a lady gets a period out of her butthole instead of her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I thought you were going to go like a, a communism joke for some reason. And then, yeah, that's yeah. the kind of show we're yeah, doing. Right. Yeah. You thought for a second we weren't going butthole periods. <laughs> yeah, as soon yeah. as I heard the word red, I was like, no, I can check out. I know how this one ends. <laughs> yeah, this is not Chapo Trap House. People are pooping blood here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. It smells like fish. We don't read. <laughs> it does smell like fish, but I can't imagine anyone here cooked fish. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Oh, uh, dude. Well, yeah, you got to hit the flounder bong. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't gotten high until you've done it out of a Flanders little blowhole. <laughs> yeah, did you know you could smoke out of a Billy Big Mouth bass? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I've had, I've had a lot of thoughts about Billy Big Mouth bass lately. <laughs> I'll share them in you due time. <laughs> Uh, do I have to do my shitty last one? Absolutely. Last. Yeah, yeah, it's not a big deal. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ray Lewis, you guys know football? Nope. I know who Ray Lewis is. Ray Lewis uh, delivered a 34-minute acceptance speech at the NFL Hall of Fame ceremony, and for the first time, no one has accused him of murdering. You're bad at public speaking, Ray Lewis. You're pretty suck. good at killing that lady. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're straight at, you're like the Stabbing. Hector of public speaking. <laughs> <laughs> you leave a lot to be desired. Ray Lewis comes at you like, nobody calls me Hector. <laughs> <laughs> he also cl- uh, apparently like talked about how he kisses his kids on the mouth. Ah, to show ah. him. Beautiful, beautiful article on, uh, I think it was I mean, Dead I guess that's fine. I mean, you know. Well, I think if you're the kid, you're like, well, I'm not thrilled about this, but he also killed mom, so. <laughs> sure. Hey, uh, welcome back to What the Hector. Uh, today, uh, <laughs> the community was attacked by a uh, by an ableist podcast host named Connor McSpadden, and uh, I want to sign the petition of Hectors that are over 5'5". Five five. Uh, I've got a link in the show notes. <laughs> so uh, let's go to guys. our callers. Uh, line one. Uh, hey, this is Hector from Michigan. No, it's not. Get off the fucking phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just picturing yeah. two Hectors stacked on top of each other yeah. in the trench coat to form a, a mega Hector. It wasn't enough pain in your voice. You're not a real Hector. <laughs> we accept no false Hectors here on What the Hector. Hector, the damn num- near killed her. The number one Hector podcast. <laughs> Hector, I barely know her. Yeah, Come nah, on. Nah, 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 nah. The Mean Boys podcast will be right back. All right, and uh, now uh, we've got a special treat here on Mean Boys. We're doing uh, Billy, Man- Billy Anderson's Gateway shows in Seattle where you, you do a set and then you smoke pot and you do another set. And uh, I, I don't really smoke pot very much. Nah, so you were being extra, extra read all about it, my dude. Yeah, yeah. So I did, I did three puffs of, of, the, of a joint, and I, uh, I was dared uh, by, by the other comedians on the show to do the whole set as a pirate, uh, who I think turned out to be a rabbi. <laughs> so uh, here's seven minutes of me uh, doing a, an unplanned set as a pirate rabbi. This rules so hard. The audio quality is uh, kind of janky, but uh, whatever. If you don't want to hear it, skip it. Yo ho yo ho, I am high on weed. I just went down to Dabby Jones's locker. Dead men pass no blunts. I'm going off this shit, yard. <laughs> I am also a rabbi. A pirate rabbi, you say? I say I. I'm doing bar mitzvahs. I mean dresses. With me hook and snip slice. I'm a pirate still. I get a bit gruesome in my pirate duties. Being a rabbi as I am. What are some other things pirates talk about? Oh, I'm uh, yeah, really 
sailed the seven streams tonight. <laughs> I love them. Where are you at with doubloons, young man? A fan of doubloons? Not a fan? Do you speak English? All right, you're a fan. Hey, treasure, burying it. I love every part of it. Making the big X? That was my job. You know how we make those big Xs? Black rocks on the sand. Yarr. We tried paint, but it washed away with the wind and the whole thing. Was an inside look at pirate life? I'm a little offended you're not more fascinated. How many pirates have you met? Probably not that fucking many, is my point. For the pirate, wave your, wave your hands. <laughs> Who's got to quit? Raise some hands. That's the pirate. What's your guess? Because I'm a game rabbi pirate. I guess I don't know. Not as good at improv as I thought being a pirate. <laughs> All right, more pirate questions. I killed some time. Over here. What are the uses of rum? Of rum? A uh, shot of me? <laughs> Rabbi stuff? <laughs> well, it's not of me, it's priest stuff, so technically, there's religious things, that's one. Uh, Get drunk. Uh, uh, I start fires, I think. <laughs> Nothing better than a good rum fire. Prove to me they're not real. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Ask a pirate, come on. <laughs> Where's my parrot? He died in a car accident. <laughs> On the way to this very show, he told me, Squawk! Don't mention it, pirate. He doesn't, the parrot does a good impression of me. What? <laughs> hey, don't mention it, pirate. What? Give the people a show, Squawk! <laughs> and I carried on! Even after the dreaded death of my beloved parrot, Fruit Loops. <laughs> that name got awkward when he learned to talk. When he was a baby, he was kind of alright, he was called Fruit Loops. Towards the end of his life, it got a little offensive. <laughs> I never thought about Toucan's feelings, Yar. I should have thought more about your feelings. <laughs> I miss you, Fruit Loops. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't think this Q&A would get so emotional. <laughs> Out on the high seas, it's like you're used to dealing with scurvy and people shooting cannons at you. You forget how to deal with the hardest peril of all. Loss. <laughs> Just like when I gave up my leg. I had this peg put on there. We were gonna fill it with sand from every place we visited, weren't we, Fruit Loops? <laughs> I could have the whole world underneath me leg. <laughs> as I walked with you forever. But I had to get drunk and drive to the show, didn't I, Fruit Loops? <laughs> DWI by driving while I'm a pirate. It's a very, very difficult thing to deal with. I have to go to driving while I'm a pirate school every Saturday. I have to take the pirate bus around for a while. I might lose my pirate license. I. It's hard being a pirate for seven minutes. <laughs> really wish I could have done another voice or ended on that thing that was funny a minute ago. <laughs> Maybe I got caught up in my toucan bit and I didn't see the lights, yard. <laughs> One more question for 
I haven't even, I don't, I don't have a name for this yet, do I? One more question for Rabbi Beard the Pirate. Are you familiar with the big mouth bass of the Pacific Ocean? <laughs> to tell you the truth, we take out their teeth, we make the new guys sit on them until they're warm, and we jack off with them like flesh plates. <laughs> Yo ho ho, bitches, I'm out of here. <laughs> And the Mean Boys podcast is back uh, after someone just finished doing a dab in the living room. <laughs> and then explained that there is a shirt for the band Train that just appeared mysteriously and no one really knows where it came from. Yeah, everyone's outside smoking right now and it looks like you guys are on break from a very hip construction project. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you guys are we're constructing a record store or something. <laughs> I want to take a black and white picture of you guys while you're sitting up on top of a, a piece of girder. <laughs> yeah, it, it's an honor to be here with r- ripped Lenny Crab and two guys trying to invent Super Molly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ripped Lenny Kravitz is redundant. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Man, you, is Lenny Kravitz ripped? Oh, he's got a body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lenny, Ladies Lenny, love Lenny. Lenny Kravitz, <laughs> first cassette I ever got when I was a kid. I loved I Want to Fly. Okay. <laughs> that was my whole shit as American woman. I, I love Lenny Kravitz when I was fucking mm. seven. <laughs> I, I wanted to like Lenny Kravitz. I could never get on board. Have you seen his dick when it popped out? You sure, I sure Oh, have. I never saw his dick. Oh, oh well. he's a good dick. I, you Google. guys... You guys yeah. vamp. I have some Googling to do. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, Paul, it's, it's, I, I don't think it's a spoiling. It's the dick you'd want Lenny Kravitz to have. Yeah. Like, it doesn't look not like Yeah, you don't want to be disappointed by that. Yeah, because what a bummer if you're Lenny Kravitz and then you just have, like, a fucking shrinky danker. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. It's wearing a wave cap. It's awesome. Oh, my God. It's got several weird bandanas tied to it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Lenny Kravitz kind of a... All right, let's see. Where's, where's You're truly looking here? looking it up? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to find this dick. All right. Uh, do you want to see it, Aaron? Absolutely. All right, yeah, so... <laughs> and then I'll, and too, then I'll paint a picture with words. Oh, good God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty funny how it just popped out like that. Yes. <laughs> it just looks like another guitar cable up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got one string tied around the bass so it stays hard. Like, I hope he's hard because if he's not hard, Christ. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah. He's always hard when he's on stage. Yeah, I got to yeah. feel like Oh, that. dude, yeah. He's just fucking... He's he's communing with the, the boner gods to rock. I appreciate the no underwear and the leather pants, too. Oh, the, oh, the, the smell be, on those pants. You gotta figure there's no way to not get a wedgie in leather pants. I feel like as soon as you put on leather pants, you're just like, well, I'm fucking, I'm cracked up there all day. There it is. Day. There's like, my ass. There is some, like, gay Japanese businessman who would pay a million dollars just to smell those pants after a show. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Maybe that's his side hustle. That's how he stays relevant. <laughs> that's how he went through, like, when the early 2000s when everything kind of fell apart. He's like, all right, yeah. I'm gonna get that part in Precious eventually, but for right now. People is Lenny like, Kravitz still putting that heat? Because I feel like he's kind of like in the, in, a, in the sort of, not smash mouth like level, but like that kind of like, ah, we book him at the county fair kind of category. He's, in, he... some, he's in a TV show or something. Okay, like, is he still, I hope he's doing yeah. well. He seems like a good, good man. Yeah, he was in the Hunger Games. And oh, he's okay. married to some hot lady, too, I forget. Okay. No, he had a, he had a kid with, um, what's her name? Is it Lisa Bonet? Oh, shit. Yeah. Who's Lisa Bonet? She was hot. A yeah. while ago. Yeah. Okay. She's still hot. She was on something, presumably, but that's yeah. how I know who she is. All right, I'm looking up this Lisa Bonet character. <laughs> yeah. This is so much more Lenny Kravitz research than I expected us to do. <laughs> there we oh, go. Oh, there it is. Duh. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she definitely looked like she'd make me feel guilty about some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, is that Chris Hemsworth? No, no. no. It's Jason Momoa. Oh, okay. He kind of... Uh, well, No, I, he's a different color, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kind of... That looked, is a large Hawaiian I, I man. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, he's a big chocolatey Chris Hemsworth kind of look. You see, where, you see where I'm getting that from, Carmel though. Hemsworth. You, I'm, not, I'm not like, you know, that's not an insane comparison to no, make. No, I, well, I mean, yes, it is, but I kind of get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. Uh, uh, sorry, which one's Chris Hemsworth? Uh, Thor. Thor. Thank you. Yeah. There we go. AKA Zaddy. Am I right, ladies? I, I would say I would say second hottest of the Hollywood Chris's. Okay. And hey, number wait, one whoa, is... Okay, I didn't realize you had a list. <laughs> oh, well, that's a whole thing. There's like Chris Pine, Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth. Sure. Uh-huh. One, I, I can't think. remember ever which one is, but Thor is hot. Yeah. The, the, Thor's the hot yeah, one. Yeah, basically the order goes uh, Wonder Woman's boyfriend, Thor, Captain America. You think Wonder Woman, and that's Chris Pine? That's Chris Pine, yeah, Captain Kirk. Star Trek, thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is, is he dating Gal Gadot? No, 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 like in the movie. Oh, okay. He plays uh, Steve Trevor. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Well, good for them. Well, now it's time to play one of our favorite games, which are the following. Yeah. Uh, 
this game comes to us from the Big Meek. Uh, sup, Melancholy Parade Floats. Big Meek here. It's which of the following? Weird Deaths Edition. These are recorded instances of how real people met their demise. So what's going to happen here, Aaron, is uh, there's going to be, I'm going to read you four things. Three of them are real, one of which was made up by our listener, the Big Meek. So uh, factor <laughs> that name into your decision-making process. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're just a little fun little guessing game. So round number one, Ancient Times Edition. A man who burned to death after covering, him, covering himself in a mixture of lard, ground rocks believed to contain phosphate and iron, and crushed up bees to cure his dropsy. The bees seems redundant. Wait, sorry. Which, how did he die? He was burned to death after covering himself in a mixture of lard, ground rocks, believed to contain phosphate and iron, and crushed up bees to cure his dropsy. So okay. it's like a, he made a, a weird... He, was like, he had like a chemical burn. He, 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 he made like so, weird yeah. caveman lotion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, B, a man was hiding in a field because he was told that he would die by falling object. A passing bird dropped a turtle on his head, killed Killing him. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, a man was so beloved in his city that he was smothered by gifts of cloaks and hats thrown to him. <laughs> That's Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, the robes. That's we a, got velvet poisoning. That's uh, Johnny Depp at the Charlottesville March, and they just keep throwing <laughs> scarves at him until he's crushed to death. <laughs> They're like, we believe you, Johnny. A uh, man in a wrestling match, and this is D, a man in a wrestling match at the Olympics, kicked his opponent so hard he broke his own neck, but not before winning the wrestling match. <laughs> it's like when you kill your, uh, knock each other out at the same time in a fighting game. yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. So one of those is fake. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we've got the strange chemical burn. Yeah. We've got uh, turtle drop, turtle drop uh, Olympic kick, and then, and sorry, what was the... And the cloaks. And yeah. the cloaks. Yeah. So, okay. So I'm trying to... If these are ancient times, somebody has to have uncovered these yeah. truths. So we're going to find a turtle on top of a skeleton in the middle of a field somewhere. I thought there was some other caveman watching that happen. Yeah. went back like, get load of grog. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's my call for the for the bullshit is the is the bird dropping a turtle. Right. I think that one's so stupid turtle it has bird. to be real. Uh, okay. I think it's uh, I think However, it's, I, the 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 chemical burn gives me pause because how the fuck would all of that information have come right. together? Right. It, it's that weird chemical in the middle that I'm like no one would make that up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say Not see, even Meek. Mm, if anybody would it be Meek. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this man at all. Uh, I'm going to say C. C is the cloaks one, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's that one. All right, so we got a uh, we got a B and a C. The answer A, it was a weird chemical. Son of a bitch. Ah, too specific, Meek. That yeah, was a real Hector with move. His, yeah, yeah. With his, with his real, like, uh, fucking ex- weird exfoliating uh, nonsense. Yeah. And that's a, it's only caution. not true because it wasn't ancient times. It was, like, two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's some weird reference to, like, an anime or something. I just well, don't yeah, get no, it. I mean, I'm sure, yeah. And he's like, well, yeah, that, that's, well, you know, how my uncle passed when I was trying to do alcohy on him <laughs> that, I, that I learned about from a GeoCities page. Trying to turn that dumb asshole into gold. Oh, yeah. No, I was all into GeoCities pages where it's like, you can develop superpowers just like Dragon Ball Z if you fucking use our techniques, the hidden tomes of GeoCities. Also, we can't afford a dot com. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that was, my, that was my whole shit when I was a 10-year-old boy depressed in the suburbs. Like, well, I mean, once I have telekinesis, things will really pick up for me. <laughs> Yeah, you know, life will be a lot kinder to me when I can shoot Kamehameha waves at my foes. Uh, round number two, ye old Dark Ages edition. Okay. A, a noble took the head of his defeated opponent as a trophy. On his way home, the head bit into his leg, killing him via infection. <laughs> B, a man was executed by having molten iron poured into his anus. Ah! C, a man, well, they charged 50 bucks for that in Silver Lake, I tell you. <laughs> A man was riding into town when his horse tripped over a pig, flinging him into a puddle of pig shit, which he drowned in. <laughs> Hell yeah. Or D, a man was executed by being drowned in a barrel of Malmsey wine. <laughs> what is Malmsey wine? A That's Malmsey a, it's a wine, wine you get at Ikea. No. That's one buck, Chuck. <laughs> will, what, any wine I'm drinking is Malmsey wine. This is mommy juice. Woo! <laughs> yeah. The, the drowning in a puddle of pig shit is so funny because that means no one around was going to help. <laughs> Watch oh, this yeah, guy. Yeah. Look yeah. at him go. He's Look just slapping around asshole. in there. Man, he loves that pig shit. <laughs> oh, man, you straight up love pig shit, bro. <laughs> what a stupid... Let's just course, give him a couple man. more minutes to thrash around in there. Yeah. Oh, 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 God. He'll <laughs> stop drinking when he's full. <laughs> Uh, I know for sure one of these is he, real. He, good. he died in the fucking the basement of uh, Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say. Can you use a brief cliff notes one more time? Uh, the decapitated head infection, mm-hmm. iron anus, uh, pig shit, and momsy wine. Iron anus is opening for train at the county. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, mom- a lot of things sound like bands. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm just trying to fill some gaps. Oh, here. dude, I do it more than anyone. I'm just. <laughs> I'm gonna say Momsy wine. All right. Momsy wine. Um, de- decapitated head biter. That's 
Yeah. Too strange. All right. Well, the answer, pig shit drowning. Ah, son of a God, bitch. we are terrible. Big Meek, we are bad at this. Big I also don't think these are necessarily founded claims. In no, I think these are, <laughs> yeah, some asshole just said this app. <laughs> this was all researched on a GeoCities page. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know, there's uh, stories or whatever, I guess, you know. Yeah. It is funny. Like, you think about some of these events and you think about writing them in fancy old English scripts yeah. to record them for future generations. <laughs> and lo, he drank many a shit of the pig. <laughs> and <laughs> and, and uh, it was his fate to be have his ass melted. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck ever. All right, round number three. Who gives a fuck when it happened edition? A, a Swedish king ate himself to death. B, a drunk was beaten to death with a Bible in an exorcism gone wrong. Oh, Jesus. Mm. C, a boy was swung around by his ankles by a clown killing him. <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you get a clown aneurysm. <laughs> you know what's funny? Yeah. We, well, read the last one. I'll tell you. Uh, D. A lawyer shot himself in court while attempting to demonstrate to the court how uh, this type of gun couldn't have been fired accidentally. His client was exonerated. Uh, <laughs> we. <laughs> these are all awesome. too good. These yeah. are all good. Well, the clown one I know is real because we did it in the Irish Goodbye episode. Oh, really? Yeah, where we talked about all the dumb ways Irish people would die. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh man. <laughs> oh Fucking. yeah. So um, that's that one's off the table. That one's real. Yeah. Okay. I didn't mean to spoil the game. But. No, no, no. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about that. I try to black out. You know. Uh, so it's, the, the guy tries. As a white nationalist, I don't like to hear a lot of anti-Irish sentiments. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And this is it, Connor. This is your moment. I like yeah. to think of all our achievements, like uh, James Joyce and whiskey, and uh, I don't know, sitting out of World War II. What yeah, do we do? I guess that one good U2 album. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Fuck the cranberries, though, man. <laughs> man, fuck them. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, they're better yeah. now that she's dead. <laughs> you guys, you guys are just accidentally showing me how simple one of my stupid bits is. <laughs> oh, no. She's holding the cranberries back. Yeah. Uh, again, Cliff notes him one more time. Okay. All right, so we got a uh, 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 fat Swedish king, uh, Bible exorcism beating, clown ankles, and uh, the lawyer that shot himself to prove that the gun could be fired accidentally. I'm pretty confident it's fat Swedish king. All right. Uh, you, just for controversy's sake. Uh, I'm gonna go with the uh, the other one. That's not the shooting one. Okay, the uh, the the exorcism, the Bible. Yeah, one? yeah, drunk exorcist. It was the Bible exorcism, guys. Yes, oh, damn, I thought that was right. playing the odds. Yeah, Ooh, well <laughs> done. done. We're on the board. All right, round number four. Modern times. A man was crushed to death while attempting to make love to a tractor. <laughs> B. I'm Hang in love on. with a tractor. Hang on. You, if you fuck a tractor, fine. If you make love to a tractor, <laughs> I have problems. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. If you like, if you fucking yeah. watch a, watch an episode of a show you like with a tractor before yeah, you, you fuck. You, you, you I got my combine. My combine's my, my, my fuck baby. <laughs> <laughs> this tractor, though, she and I, we got something special. <laughs> my yeah. fuck baby. Instead of, instead of like baby oil, you just put WD-40 all over it. And you're like, oh, yeah, you're so shiny for me. You oh, there's so tractor. many nice joints to really rub my fucking raw cock on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I don't want my I don't want my fucking exposed dick anywhere near a piece of farm equipment. <laughs> a, a tractor just seems like the least sexy vehicle you could fuck. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You, know, you ain't is... seen this baby work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, do you stuff a flashlight in the tailpipe at least? So it's oh, like. Well, no, the tractor know, hates that. We're, we're what no, kind of, we're what no kind of fans like, of the BBW community, Keith. I right. feel like we should have to acknowledge that if you're a car fucking guy. We would probably be tractor enthusiasts. We'd be tractor chasers. <laughs> no, I'd be fucking one of those like one of those motorcycles, but it's a tricycle. Mm. Oh, okay. that thing's got swerve. Yeah, it holds you know a lot of I mean? bags. That's, that's, yeah. that's like the Bridget the Midget of fucking car sex. That's like weird. I feel that's like that's weird. <laughs> trikes. It's too early yeah. parsing this. Yeah. 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 I don't think we're supposed to call them trikes anymore. <laughs> <It's> politically incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it identifies non- as a motorcycle. And you <laughs> well, it's, it's a non-binary. Uh, v- well, yeah, it's a trinary. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we got tractor fucker. That's a okay. <laughs> okay. A uh, storage tank full of molasses burst open in Boston, killing 21 people and injuring over 150. <laughs> Uh, C, a woman cremated herself when she fell asleep while smoking a cigarette. Or D, a driver in the South American Grand Prix was killed while being struck in the head with a fire extinguisher. Cremated herself seems yeah. a little colorful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, burned to death. She got fired. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah saved somebody a trip to the... The up- polyurethane yeah, Afghan up- was first to go. Check out this woman's amazing Richard Pryor impression. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like they, w- they walked in there and the guy's like, okay, well, the family wants the ash. And he just goes... I don't he know. Get, like, scoop scoop, it. Yeah, scoops a big gold cup of something. And it's just like, here you go. That's yeah, probably your aunt. I mean, Saved you 
eight hundred bucks. So There's you're a piece welcome. Of a chair in there, but she loved that chair. Or whatever, <laughs> just fucking pay me. All right, let's see. Molasses. <laughs> Passersby attempted to smother the flames with a series of robes and furs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a twofer. <laughs> oh man, that'd be funny. Johnny Depp's gravestone. It's just all scarves. You know, just people paying their respects. You know, just, he died the way he lived. Kind of gay, but mostly stupid. <laughs> you, you tie your bandana to the end, and eventually it'll go all the way around the world. You know, for Johnny. <laughs> Scarves across America. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's tractor fucker, uh, molasses tank. Uh, cremated herself and fire extinguisher race car. I'm going to say fire extinguisher race car. All right, Aaron. Well, you're, where are you at on this I'm, one? I was feeling on the same page. Yeah, I think, we, yeah. I think this is it. Yeah, So because it's somebody driving and then gets like bludgeoned by... What a co-pilot with that thing? Or did it just like somebody threw it from somewhere else and yeah. just like Kobe'd it through the fucking window? That sounds yeah, more yeah. believable now. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Way, these, half of these could be Mario Kart deaths. <laughs> that's yeah, the yeah. next. That's yeah, the, yeah, next the turtle segment. hits you, then the fire extinguisher. <laughs> oh, there has been a turtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they yeah. slip on the banana peel. It's a whole fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, the other this is totally right. The other day I was walking down the street and I literally slipped and fell on a fucking banana peel. <laughs> oing, 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 oing. And I was like, it really, really hurt. And then I just looked over and I'm like, I can't even be mad. <laughs> somebody called the cops on you. Like, yeah, oh yeah, corny. I think somebody's being hilarious yeah. outside. Send a paramedic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give this man CPR and the ten thousand dollars because that's America's funniest home video. Oh man, the <laughs> shtick is <laughs> unbearable. All right, so what's your guess? Aaron? I go fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher part two. Uh, you guys are wrong. That guy successfully made love to that tractor. He was ah, completely fine. Ah, suck a dick, Big Meek. Look, if you're fucking a tractor, I got to figure you, you read the manual. You know, that's like porn to you if you're a tractor well, guy. Yeah, you just be on top. Like, it's the <laughs> safest way to avoid this happening. No, I want to do. How hard are you fucking the tractor that it's moving? I want to fucking tractor cowgirl. <laughs> I want the tractor to run over me. It's your turn. <laughs> Oh man! It's I feel like I've been doing all the work here. <laughs> just, oh yeah, you're right. I can't handle that shit, Jane Deere. Uh, <laughs> I like that it can't even be a guy tractor. Like, hey, I'm fucking tractor, but I ain't no fucking queer. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I was just trying to make a pun. Marriage is between a man and that tractor. <laughs> you know, sometimes you you try to riff and you end up excluding the disenfranchised listeners of the podcast, and you feel. Bad and as a about white it. nationalist, you don't want to do that. Yeah, as a white nationalist, I judge people by the color of the skin, not the contents of their search history on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you guys want to make a donation to the Stormfront Defense Force in my name, <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. I, I fuck uh, Nazis or whatever. Round five, all real or all fake? <laughs> the apathy. Uh, a, a diver exploded while attempting to surface too fast. That's totally B, probable. A yeah. couple uh, were fucking on a grand piano suspended in the air when one of them hit the hydroponics that pinned the man to the ceiling, killing him. And she was fine? Or, the, uh, or he was fine as well? Uh, uh, I don't know. But no. yeah, a couple. I think uh, killing him, I guess she yeah. lived. You know, yeah. that's when you want to be on top. Is when you Wait, you said they were fucking sets. on a grand piano suspended? suspended? Yeah, In so I think he wrote hydroponics, but I think he meant hydraulics. That makes sense. Because uh. hydroponics are, are a weed thing. Why would yeah. you, and hydraulics why would... are a lift stuff thing. Maybe, maybe the piano was being suspended in the air by a series of streams of water. It's very, yeah, suspending a grand piano seems like an idea you'd have super high. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see. A man was killed after his excessive use of body spray deodorant built up in his blood. <laughs> or D, a man was demonstrating the effectiveness of a window to not break by throwing himself at the 24th story of a building. The window became dislodged after a second attempt, and he fell to his death. <laughs> he right. did it twice. Are these all real or all fake? These are all real. I did the, the thing where you're like, let me uh. prove to you how good this works. Never seems to go well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a guy, there's like commercials of this guy who had like a gun shop, and he'd just wear a bulletproof vest and had like get shot in the chest before uh. like big sale events. And I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. That's kind of awesome, but wait, also bloody. Wait, did he die or he didn't die? Uh, that guy? I don't remember. Still if kicking? Well, if you saw the on, commercial, yeah. you got to figure he lived. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think they're going to air it if he got shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we already spit. put all the money into this production. Well, it says, like, best bulletproof vest. He dies, and then just it scratches out and says, best guns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So all real or all fake? Mm. Yeah. I say all real. So even the the blood poisoning by body spray? Uh, yeah. That seems like some shit that happened. Yeah. Killed by axes. Yeah. And I just... I. I've known enough people who overuse acts that hard that I could totally see it happening. Like, yeah. You're like, kind of jaundiced. And then you're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like turning like orange. You're like, oh, I'm fine. I smell great. Yeah, yeah. I want to base myself like a like a middle school Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> <laughs> now the ladies are gonna like me, Dad. Vomit shit. <sighs> yeah, I never. So, thought, oh, are you oh, there you go. 
Oh, I just I never thought Axe smelled as offensive as other people, but I don't have a very good sense of smell. I I've use, also never worn Axe. I use it sometimes, but I use it like sparingly. Mm. Yeah, I think that's the problem is it's a, it, it attracts people a little too liberal with the... Yeah, and I used to be that guy yeah. who I was just like, I don't ever have to do laundry. I yeah, can yeah. just <laughs> create an order. Lay orbit. it on. Yeah, mm, I smell like truck. Have you che- checked your blood recently? <laughs> they're, like, they're like, hey, no, uh, we're not going to let you give blood. It's not because you have gay sex. Yeah, it's, my blood, uh, my blood the type X. is Cool Ranch. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm working with. I do think Keith's blood is full of tiny axes, like Battle axis, and they're just like, yeah, I don't know what happened here, but uh, they're trying to chip their way through my shitty so arteries. Yeah, your, blo- your blood has revolted the... against you. <laughs> they're, they're demanding a, a magna carta of, of vegetables from your uh, from your nervous system to continue working. All your red blood cells have turned into incels. <laughs> <laughs> red blood incels. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're dri- driving a truck through my pancreas again. It's going to be a long dump today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all so, real or all fake. Uh, I'm going to go all real. Nice. Those those are all real, guys. Bless. Hell yeah. God believe, bless America. I believe Aaron <laughs> wins this round. I, th- I don't think you got any right except that last one. Um, yeah, it sounds right. Yeah, congratulations. Right. Fuck yeah. Right. You win. I'm not going to say I came here to win, but <laughs> <Yeah>. it feels good. <laughs> you know, there was something to be won. <laughs> I mean, we we don't usually keep track of who wins, but you know we don't narrow Aaron that well, and I, I I wanted to like us, so I was like, yeah, you won. You Wait, know? I win, I win. I, yeah. I was told there was going to be stickers at the end of this. So you can that's have my some pay. stickers if you want them. Yeah. But I can't no, I won it. the stickers. Yeah, you did. Yeah, <laughs> and you can also not take them if you don't want them. <laughs> I got, won that freedom of choice. We're trying to sell the stickers, so if you just be be, be conservative with how many. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm kidding. We got a lot of stickers. You, you can have a sticker. That's right. We're rolling and giving Wow, I have been really money. on the edge of you, my seat with whether or not I'm getting these fucking stickers you were, today. You were very brave. You got your shots, and you can have a meat point sticker. Uh, and we'll be right back. Who wants TCBY? Yeah, we'll, we'll be right back with the Meat Boys Mailbag right after this. Hey, freelancers. Are you running out of facets of your life and emotional identity to monetize? Are you out of time between your Etsy store, Patreon, branded content contributions, and Postmates deliveries to take on new be-your-own-boss bullshit sharing economy jobs? Then sleep cams might be right for you. Just point your webcam at your face before bed and then wait for the tokens to start rolling in. Viewers will be charged a low amount every minute to watch you sleep and jerk off or whatever. Catch some Zs and make some green. Who is watching this, you ask? Other overworked independent 20-somethings will have developed a sexual fetish for the notion of rest and throw their hard-earned cash at the opportunity to live through you between late-night copywriting and M-Turking. Everybody wins. Stay in the casino. It's going to be your turn soon. You're one break away. Just keep listening to that one podcast that inspires you and earn your future. And most importantly, make money from people coming to you while you're asleep. Sleep camps. We're going to do pooping next. Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the Mean Boys Podcast, and it's time for the Mean Boys Mailbag. It's Mean Boys Mailbag. Fuck everything. God is dead. Send us an email or give us a call. Have you ever heard the one about Keith and the dog? It's a motherfucking Mean Boys Mailbag. What? What? That's what male sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> Air is excited at a Puerto Rican disco. Yeah, we got we got a uh, yeah we got a jingle that goes in there. That's pretty fun. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, there's a guy hitting on Nicole Buchanan in the mentions. Stop that! Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> well, he was, I guess, nice about it. I guess. Yeah, I know. It's all, whenever I see any of our fans like tweet anything nice at like our lady guests, I'm like excited, but I'm also like, come on, all right, be cool, everybody, <laughs> be cool, because one of you's gonna ruin this eventually. <laughs> I mean, you, you tweet whatever you want at me. I'm, I get it. I get it's yeah, not yeah. funny, but you knock yourself out. But yeah, just <laughs> they're not up for grabs. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. She wrote, okay, he wrote. Let's 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 put the creepometer on this. Heard you on Mean Boys. Heard you arguing you weren't pretty enough to bookmark. No creeping here, but you're beautiful. I agree with the guys. You're both pretty and super funny. Enjoyed you on Me and Blue's podcast and hope you come back on. That's, that's reasonable. That's, that's reasonable. Unnecessary, but reasonable. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think he was trying to be nice. So, and, uh, yeah. And he's, he's, I, I see him in the mentions and he's a nice listener. So, uh, and I think Nicole, uh, uh, you know, just Nicole just wants to be loved. She liked it. So, uh, No questions on Instagram, but Zara Khan just says, you're great. Hey, thanks, Zara. Yeah, she's a big fan of your whole deal. Yeah. All right. Dark <laughs> homunculus, right? To ever have a dream 
uh, make things uncomfortable slash change the dynamic of your relationship with someone. Ooh. No, I've been on the receiving end of this a lot of of uh, people being mad about. I had a me dream about you, Connor. Yeah. And then like here's it like in in a relationship you can't like you can't like hear that and then be like well DMT is released during the dream you know yeah. you can't like go like well yeah I mean it doesn't it's a dream it's not you know well I mean it's like a Wait, chemical sorry. it's like a drug and you know it's, did somebody get you said a partner got mad at you for something you did in a dream or uh, yeah, yeah 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 or just or just like upset or whatever but yeah, yeah I've never really had that and a recurring thing yeah where my ex was having dreams about me fucking other people and yeah. then like, she'd be like I know it's not fair to be mad at you but I just woke up mad at yeah, you and yeah. stayed mad at you all day and I'm I've, like, I've had that experience well it's also such a bummer because like I didn't even get to have the dream where I fucked that person <laughs> like at least that would have been kind of cool to be like look, look at me go like <laughs> yeah I don't dream very much every once in a while I have a dream that like I'm a, like I had a dream when I was a kid that I murdered somebody at Arby's with a crossbow wow. and I woke up and I was like oh my god I'm a fucking mom I have to turn myself into the police and then I was like oh wait I'm not the fucking crossbow bandit <laughs> this is gonna sound like a bit but I swear to god it's true I did have a dream you were my dad once oh yeah and it was really fucking weird oh that's bizarre was he the same age what's up he's the yeah, same age he was just Connor he yeah. wasn't even wearing like my dad's clothes yeah, or like yeah. married to any of my you know mom type people in yeah. my life <laughs> Yeah, no, you were just any of my mom type. People. You were just my dad, and like we were kind of. I wasn't married to any stuff. of your ex girlfriends. Yeah, <laughs> the whole time you're like, ah, oh, dad, quit calling me fat. Yeah, and even in the dream, I was like, I don't think that's dad, but it's dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I, yeah, I no, that never really bothered. I'm mean, always, I always had like enough. You know, I was always able to separate it, but I guess people have intense dreams, so I get it. But it's just, a, it's always very annoying. Where you know, it's just like, oh, it's been a weird morning. What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> I've had, I've had a couple dreams uh, in which you know, like I hooked up with whom ever you know whatever casual acquaintance or like co-worker right and uh and then and on like two occasions i've been like maybe i should go for it <laughs> uh but yeah that didn't really work out and then i had a one uh one dream i was i was seeing this guy in real life at the time and in the in a dream i had he had like a two-pronged little finger penis <laughs> it really just killed the buzz on that thing forever but what oh, wow. about in real life <laughs> Well, three prongs, obviously. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Classic American outlet style. Yeah. <laughs> a try it into You've got to have one to ground it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the grounding dog. You could use it to summon fish from the deep to do his bidding. <laughs> Aquaman. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Harry Moore writes, what's the nicest thing you've experienced from Meme Boys fans that really touched you? Follow up, is there anything that really bothers you that some fans do? Because I uh, am making my to-do list for this week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, uh, well, I'll say the thing that bothers me is um, uh, Tom. Don't don't. Uh, d- 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 Tom is not stupid at all. Tom is very smart. So yeah, don't don't treat Tom like he's an idiot because Tom's a fucking genius. He just communicates strangely. <laughs> yeah, I w- and granted, we haven't helped that by calling no, no, Tom no, retarded yeah, yeah. on a professional level for the past two years. But yeah, it's, it's a bit. It's better. a bit. Yeah, I, sh- that- I should I should make that clear. But yeah, just fucking don't don't like Tom. Like don't fucking bring that energy at uh, at our boy. Uh, that 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 irritates me. But that's about the only thing. Anything else? Anything? I'm very just flattered that anybody gives a shit so just i don't i don't really get turned off by anything else yeah you know? nothing ever irritates me and if i ever seem irritated because i've had people come up to me at the live shows afterwards and be like are you like mad at me like they get weird i'm just before i do a show i'm generally not the most like chatty fun person i know that about you you kind of co- like cove up and find a corner to yeah i kind of find my corner i sort of get in my zone afterwards mm-hmm. i will totally hang yeah, out yeah. and talk to people so if i ever came off like a dick to anybody at the shows i apologize oh, I, I talk to people a lot before the shows because i'm just putting off the you know the time i should be using to work on my material yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see i'm the opposite way i'm like I, well, I'm like, oh, these people, like a Mean Boys show specifically, I'm like, these people actually know who I am and came to see me. So if I bomb now, I'm just bad at being me. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. you know what I mean? That I have no, I can't blame it on anybody else. Yes, yeah, for the nicest thing, I mean, you guys have given me a fucking lovely, like the gifts and stuff are really the, r- amazing. Like, that's, that's all. I mean, I'm wearing my, my fucking Mean Boys Yeezys right now. Shout out again to you, dude. Thank you. But, what? Uh, Somebody got you those shoes? Yeah, someone sent me Yeezys, man. Just because yeah, I, I mentioned in passing that I like them. And if anyone wants to send me more Yeezys, yeah, fuck, yeah, please. It was the craziest <laughs> thing. Yeah, they sent a package to the house. He got Yeezys. I got a like Louis Vuitton wallet. And I wow. uh, got a Japanese suicide knife from World War II. <laughs> what a sweet... The, the, th- the thing that definitely... <laughs> no, he likes swords and knives. Great, great, great. The thing yeah. that means the most is definitely, um, you know, that... Uh, just saying that the show, like, you know... The, you listen to it when you're depressed or when you're having a bad day or just mm-hmm. to kind of pass the time, you know, doing something in your life that you don't appreciate and being a part of the the routine of shit that, you know, kind of helps you get through the nonsense and shitty parts of life is uh, is the biggest honor of my life. And it's all I could have ever hoped for, you know, for my for my time on Earth. So that that always fucking breaks. But that's very, very 
like for that fucking it really means a lot to me. So, yeah, that's so exactly all, what I was gonna all, say. All that that fucking is uh, is so awesome, and I'm I'm really honored, and I fu- I appreciate the hell out of you. Yeah, so. and the show is you know we, it, it's profoundly dumb. Sometimes we feel silly making it. So whenever anybody emails us, like oh you know this got me through a shitty thing, yeah. it's nice to know like oh this means something to someone, even if it is just us yelling about the fudge order, or calling Tom retarded, and getting mad that people call Tom retarded. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I'm you know I'm I'm honored to mean something to anybody, and I I I, I, I do I consider it a, a great responsibility. So I do try to uh, not let you down. I try to respond to everybody. I've been a little busy this month, so I've been kind of behind. So I, 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 I got to go through the emails and shit and, and write everybody back. But uh, I feel like I love you guys very much, and we, so we appreciate you. So any, anything like that, any you know, if you just if you if you listen to it when you're bummed out, because that's you know the relationship I've had with like comedy and media and podcasting is there's certain things you're like oh yeah I remember during that time I was listening to a lot of this so that's when I watched you know Maria Banford's show on Super Deluxe and I really enjoyed that and I was really bummed right. out and I thought like oh that's cool I'd like to make something like that like one day or whatever so any, anything like that is fucking awesome uh, and on a lighter note if Mean Boys was a flavored ice cream what kind of ice cream would it be? Neapolitan? Eating you, you Neapolitan? <laughs> no. It would have been Neapolitan during the Joe days because we had a straight guy, a bisexual guy, and a gay guy, and it was mm. perfect. That's why I was described <laughs> yeah. it. The Wait, Neapolitan. which one is which? Uh, I'm straight. You're bi, and Joe is. No, gay. I I know, idiot. I meant which one is which flavor. <laughs> uh, Joe is strawberry. I was going to say Keith is strawberry. I'm vanilla. I guess. Well, so, I, I, I'm strawberry, right? I mean, Keith's strawberry. Right? Yeah. Well, strawberry the is the fruitiest. Well, they, know, yeah, so but I feel like, I feel like vanilla is the most plain, chocolate is the most decadently gay, and then <laughs> strawberry is in the middle. It's like mm, I can I'm go just a sweet little strawberry. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm I mean, a little party gonna, boy. If I was going to describe, less people want me than the other two, but everybody who likes me loves me. So, <laughs> like if I was like if Joe was an ice cream flavor, he would be like a tonic water flavored ice cream. It would be some kind of weird bitter. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, <laughs> they invent plain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. By, by the way, quick side note because I saw this uh, pop up on the Reddit a couple times. We still like Joe. Oh yeah, yeah, we love Joe. <laughs> Every time Joe comes up, there's this weird like, oh, what happened to Joe? Joe's fine. We love Joe. Joe's doing great. Joe's uh, still funnier than us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, I like the Neapolitan. I like that I'm strawberry. And yeah, if I, if I got to your do... vanilla and Tom is insane vanilla. <laughs> yeah, and, and Tom's gelato somehow. I don't Tom, know. Yeah, Tom is soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Tom is the Tweety Bird from the Ice Cream Man with one of the gumdrop eyes missing. <laughs> yeah, if, if we did get to do our like Jimmy Fallon like tonight dough kind of deal with Ben and Jerry's, I mean, Ooh. I'm a big fan of peanut butter and cookie dough. I don't know about cross pollinating those elements, so I would probably the do dough some... of a peanut butter cookie. Uh, ooh. Oh shit! Peanut butter cookie dough. That's what it would be for me. <laughs> I, Damn, Aaron, you just changed the motherfucking game, I love lady. flavors. <laughs> 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 Two things about me. Seen only one movie, and it was The First Princess Diaries. And also, I'm apparently some sort of, like, the Jewish grandma from the Bronx. <laughs> Who plays yeah. a ukulele. Yeah. I'm a lot of stuff. I got five uh, five lines in a Woody Allen movie. Yeah, and, I'm uh, the queen of Flavortown. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a treat aficionado. I would be honored. <laughs> Unfortunately, the bloodline is not strong enough. All right. Eat your cookie dough and bring a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, how did you guys decide you wanted to do comedy instead of acting or whatever semi-stable thing you used to do? I love. I like. I love this person like acting is stable. I, yeah, I've, I've abandoned my successful career as an actor. Uh, you can look which, like everyone who aged yeah, out of the Disney Channel, in which I have appeared in one Kyle Clark web series and an online commercial for an upstart photo booth company. My acting <laughs> career. <laughs> I showed you that photo booth commercial where I'm just very awkwardly pretending to have a good time at a party. No, uh, I think I'll, I'll, pull, I'll try to find it somewhere. I don't remember the name we'll of the, the company. Acting baby. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's comedy instead of a stable thing. Well, if you want the real answer, it's because I'm convinced that the great economic collapse is coming soon. And uh, I figured I'm definitely going to die in the apocalypse, and there's no way I'd be able to create a sustainable savings yeah. or backup plan. So I thought I may as well have a lot of uh, fun times before uh, I, get, I get fucking you know, bayoneted to death by, by my you know, Chinese overlord in you know, this continental debtor's prison. Yeah, I was, That's we, why we, I'm doing comedy. <laughs> we, yeah, we were watching this Michael Moore documentary last night. About of just, course like, you were. The, these hardworking people who have like, had this... Like real the same job for forty years, and then they get fired and lose everything. I'm just like, sucks to suck, nerd. I'm getting six hundred bucks to go to Oklahoma and talk about my dick. Like, <laughs> you know, it's 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 gonna the survive. Shaka. The worse their lives get, the more they need to look at us do stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that makes uh, it sound very ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. At I know all. that was the dumb point. It was a joke. Uh, yeah. I know. I know. I'm yeah. just like, oh, no, geez. genuinely, I, I you know, I don't do a stable thing because I'd rather be broke forever and just do a thing that makes me happy than you know. 
Ma- make a bunch of money then and do a thing that is like boring or sucks. Yeah, I just and I don't know. think anything. I don't think anybody's wrong for like wanting a stable life. Like I don't think like I'm you know I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. I don't know, man. I just Fucking don't care. Car accidents happen. I don't believe in an afterlife. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to. You know, dude. Uh, I'm trying to just do the ideal shit. And if it doesn't work, I yeah. I can't say I didn't go for it. You right. know, like. You're going to die. Just fucking party now. Stop saving all these plans for Cloud Town. There's no fucking Cloud Town. You got to do it right here. Cloud Town. How about you? What? Uh, well, I still got a part-time gig, you know, like that I would probably actually, judging by the like values of that organization, I should really never be on any <laughs> podcast <laughs> talking oh, yeah. about white supremacy. But uh, In jest. We're, 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 we're having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> we agree, but we agree also anti cranberries. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, wait, I mean the what? Jew stuff is great, but everything else, no. Yeah. No, I don't. I love. I love this stuff. I would like. I like you said. Same thing. If I could, if I can slave away at this for years and years and like make a dime at it, that's that means a lot to me. Rather than you know selling out and doing nothing for nobody. Like, right. I want. I want meaning in my life, and hopefully, I, I mean, I, I can either find a career that gives me that, or keep doing this and do fucking art or whatever it is art yeah Yeah. anytime anybody calls stand-up art i'm like i get it objectively it is but i'm also like yeah i know i don't know (laughs) i like to think my i think of myself as a plumber for boner jokes (laughs) you're the bone i'm a tradesman (laughs) uh guys yeah that's just a, a diss ever ghosted a girl or guy if so why you go first. May I please take the lead on this? Um, I I did a, a fair bit of like online dating when I moved to Seattle, and uh, there was you know there was a handful of duds, but like you, I feel like you got to get <laughs> Let your me grab a handful of duds, there, <laughs> cowboy. <laughs> well, you know, there's like there's the ones that you realize. I'm calling nut plate handful of duds from now on. Handful of duds. <laughs> nut plate. Ooh, Take yeah. Me Let me get up in them duds. Well, he needed something better than nut play, so. Would you been suck my duds? <laughs> you dud guzzler. <laughs> oh, you teabagged me. You got your duds on my face, bro. Come on. It only works if they're shooting blanks, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, only sterile balls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the best kind of balls. And I don't know how you can tell, but there's got to be some sort of yeah. pilot system. You got to check the serial number. <laughs> you got to look <laughs> it up online. Uh, no, these ones never work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, dated online, couple, met a couple people. And I feel like, you know, be, being like a, be, being in comedy and you, you get a lot from just general conversation with people. So if you don't click through like basic internet flirting, then right. it's like that's an easy no go but yeah. some people can like they can hold on to you for long enough you go out and you meet yeah. and uh and then they like really let all their fucking goon out yeah. and oh, yeah, uh yeah. I unleash had, the dweebery oh i gotta hunt down this message but like i i ghosted on this guy we'd we'd hung out like twice i think we made out and uh he t- like turned out it was just like really into really into hentai and stuff and i was like whatever oh, like I don't care about that, like, individually, but I'm not trying to, like, date this uh, strangeness. And, uh... Uh, This is a hate-free zone, (laughs) Aaron, and we... So, you can be a little more open to... You you don't realize this. You just alienated thousands of fans. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good crossover between the hentai boys and the boys. Oh, yeah, the juggalo hentai meme boys. (laughs) I got... Oh, man, how many of you are? If you're in the hentai, send us a a code radio. Don't don't open this door. I don't want to see it, but just to to tell me the appeal i'm curious I, I, I i'm not mad at it but i'm just like well, how do you yeah. how do you end up there how do you get yeah. there did he call you out for oh, ghosting him or was it just he like did a- yeah i ghosted him after like date two because he was like i i tried to give him a gentle exit i was like well i got a really got a lot of stuff to do and right. like yeah. he just kept like hitting me up and I, so i stopped responding and then he gave me like a four, one of those nice four page long text messages oh, oh, about how like i was uh missing out on like the best opportunity i'd ever had and i'm like okay buddy I'm hit the ground floor of a squid <laughs> fuck dude Dude, I am going to really gr- blossom into a beautiful butterfly. There's, there's nothing worse than like playing salesman on your own behalf. You're like, uh, I'll tell you what, I work hard, all right? You know? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Listen, I might not be much to look at or a very good kisser or uh, charming I, I, uh, or I, cool. What's it going to take or... to put you in an 88 Keith Kerr? Like... <laughs> I, I have ghosted someone, by which I mean I sucked a woman into a vacuum to stop her from destroying a monument. Uh, <laughs> hey. That's a chat. Jokes. 
ghost. Yeah, I always feel bad when I do it because like I never want to ghost people, but there's no there's no good way to be like we fucked twice and I don't like you that much. Yeah, so, you, you got to really are. meet at the same level well, as somebody to be like, hey. This isn't good, right? Yeah. And then they go, yeah, and you're like, okay, bye. And I feel like if you get lucky in like a casual hookup scenario, you both kind of just mutually ghost. Yeah, the mutual like, ghosting. Yeah, that, yeah, that's beautiful. That's like, oh, we, just, we stopped. Yeah, yeah, like, that's great. Yeah, yeah. you I don't, don't want a one. I never ghost. like. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm trying to figure out how to like just you know be a guy that you know did did talks to people in dates and you know as everything is like clear because you, you never want someone you know you never want to lead anybody on or anything like right. that totally so. i had a guy it's can a i difficult... do an opposite story sure yeah. uh very nice gentleman i like met at work i'd never really like you know it was like exchanged numbers with somebody that i was serving at my restaurant yeah. uh so we ended up like meeting up for a day date you know there was just not really any sparks or whatever yeah. uh and it was fine uh he was cute. I continue to be fucking sexy as hell, but we went our separate ways. And then, like a week later, he texted me a very polite, like, "Hey," even though we hadn't talked at all after this date, he texted yeah. me like, "Hey, listen, um, in the, the spirit of full disclosure, I just want to say, you know, I don't think this is going to go anywhere." And I was like, "Fucking no, doy. Who is yeah. this?" <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's a week after a day date, yeah. and there's been no contact. No one was confused about the state of yeah, this relationship. Yeah, it's like you're such a polite person that you didn't want. Somebody probably was like, "Yeah, don't ghost her." I'm like, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> or he just really didn't like you. He was yeah. like, "You think she gets it? I want to make sure she gets it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a toughie. All right, you um, never done it, Connor? Oh, uh, ghosted somebody? Yeah. yeah, I guess I have. I don't know. But I do feel bad about it. I've tried to um, tried to go make like uh, I've made amends on most uh, on most of my ghost uh, most of my ghosties, I suppose. You run into him or something? Um, I've ran I ran into him a couple times. Yeah, two 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 in particular I ran into. I, I, though I talked to him about it before I ran into them, so I was you know more more less awkward when I yeah. saw them. You know, so I'm at the gym and uh, randomly at a comedy show. This this guy like kind of like was talking to in high school. I've talked about on the show, and she just came to the worst fucking show ever. Oh yeah, like, I promise my career is going slightly better. <laughs> no, so you didn't, I like, still don't want to date you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, no. I mean, it is it is definitely tough because I don't know. I mean, I, I also just get anxious and overwhelmed, so I'll just like I'll just check out of things, you yeah. know, with romantic or otherwise, right? You know, so got to try to be better about that. You know, we're work in progress. Uh, what's the stupidest or most humiliating thing you've done to win a bet? I don't know. I don't know that I've this ever. Is a, this is a man's game. I'm gonna sit this one out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is some real. This is some fucking Y chromosome shit right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let us and our dumb wiener pride <laughs> carry this one to, to win a town. bet. I don't know. I mean, I did a whole set as a pirate just to prove some people that I, you know, prove you guys I wouldn't do it. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna include the audio of that on this episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, Beautiful. I think so. It sounds kind of crappy, but I'll see if I can figure it out. Well, we'll put it. Who cares? It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Uh yeah I don't know I guess I guess do seven minutes as a pirate yeah in front I, of a really good show where I could have easily have done worked on material or something but were, I was like you, I'll you be also stop I'll be a pirate like. the whole time <laughs> yeah for the for the gateway show yeah I uh I don't know that I've ever done anything that stupid to win a bet yeah I know I've had to do stupid things because I lost a bet what have you oh. had to do because you lost a bet this is the weirdest thing I, I I forget what the bet was but I lost a bet with my stepdad when I was eight. So he made me eat like a bunch of like jalapenos all mm-hmm. at once, and then just laughed at me because I had like spicy, sad child mouth. There you go. He was also a Nazi. He wasn't a great guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. No, I don't think I've ever had like the loss to bed had to do a thing. What about that time when you uh, made out with the uh, girl with the glasses in high school, and then she didn't really fit in, and then you like took her to prom and. <laughs> <laughs> that you're not embarrassed at all by that. Is this a reference to a movie I haven't seen? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Maybe <laughs> she's all that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Nah. Didn't yeah, do that. I would. I, no. <laughs> Man, I, it was it was a good riff. It was for I, you. Yeah, I watched him just drag it screaming to the bottom. <laughs> of the I was trying to think of something funny to say. I just I, I was not like. I guess maybe you would look at me now and think that maybe I had some level of confidence when I was younger because I feel like I'm a fairly you know comfortable in my own skin. I've seen type the photographs. I know the truth. But it's like, yeah, no, oh, absolutely. Dark times. I was, no, it was, was a wiener. It was full on deadliest warrior game. We we're playing Yu Gi Oh. We we skipped out on a lot of pep rallies to like just like Google like card prices and shit. And yeah, it was that was not any kind of environment for me. Uh, hey, what were some of the jokes you did for the roast of Bruce Willis? I don't really want to read out all my jokes because it was a whole. It was a collaborative process. Yeah, everyone. same. Uh, you never a bunch know. of people have asked me. I'm not going to tell you, but thank you for uh, your support on that. Yeah, thanks for giving a shit. Can you uh, say what one of your favorites of the night was? Um, uh, I mean, there's one joke that I know that I that I wrote like that specific that didn't get changed or edited really, you know. And it's a uh, 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 that I but I until I like it's funny or whatever. But it's a uh, Bruce Willis is what you get if you isolate the white part of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I wrote. So. I love that. And, uh, yeah, yeah, one that I, I liked. That. The guy in was. Uh, 
uh, that uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt looks like a lesbian on her way to prom. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, fucking yeah, the the whole uh, yeah, the whole fucking crew was amazing, and yeah, it was a, uh, it was all uh, who, it's at, at the end of the thing, it's like who gives a shit? It's just with the show happening. Exactly. Yeah. Off. That's awesome. And finally, best fan meeting slash worst fan meeting stories. Also, oh, why does that yeah. Keith tells joke looks like a sexy snuffle up again? <laughs> He's You're not really wrong. Good. I do kind of look like snuffle up again. Yeah, I might retweet that. <laughs> yeah, I think I already did. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, God, what is the worst fan meeting? Because most of our fans are pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the one guy in Philly, I think, that was kind of trying to, trying to, trying to neg everybody. I guess. I don't, wait, is this the guy in Philly who was trying to fuck? I think so. Yeah. Oh. Was, yeah, yeah. Kept like making gay jokes, but in the way where. It's oh like, yeah, yeah. That guy sucks. Yeah, I am also gay, but uh, fuck gay people. Yeah. What are you doing? I right? was sort of like, what, what's your racket here? Yeah, yeah. I was just like, <laughs> whose team are we on? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That one. Be that your guy, terrible self, sir. That guy was kind of a wiener. Uh... Uh, I, I feel bad because I mean, I, don't start shit. I mean, I guess we we tease people or whatever, but it's like we're very good at it, you know. And just like don't like you know, if, and if I cross the line, I really do try to make. I I, I really don't ever want to hurt anyone's feelings or offend them particularly. Yeah, you know, it's out, laughs. outside of a gentle ribbing, you know. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, sometimes people will kind of try to like stir up some some shit and get, and I'm just kind of like, ah, it's just hang, you know, let's just be cool. Yeah, like, the only know. reason the only fan we've ever had to publicly reprimand was the guy who hit his girlfriend and the guy who kept tweeting us rape threats. So as long as you're not those two guys, oh, yeah. we think you're great. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. So, uh, yeah. And then best. Oh, man. Uh, Gina in Chicago will always have a uh, very special place in my heart. That was uh, that was really sweet to meet her. Yeah, it was a gal who came to our live show uh, the day of her mother's funeral. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Left early. Yeah. That was the so... funeral, not our show. She <laughs> stayed the whole time. Yeah, it was, it was really it was really yeah. great to meet Gina. She probably so. needed that. That's one of those things. That was a good thing. I feel bad because I feel like the last 20 minutes she's been airing just watching us suck our own dicks in the uh, mail. I know, yeah. I'm <laughs> no, the fans love it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. Can't get enough. Yeah. It snuffle up against so you can just reach down there. <laughs> you can be sincere on your white nationalist podcast <laughs> you gotta break it up guys god damn we love hitler dude <laughs> all right uh well aaron thank you so much for coming in this is coming out tomorrow uh do you have anything you'd like to plug Extreme any shows delight. you got coming up you know oh what's good what's good we should maybe plug the be- show we're doing with you yeah, on Friday. absolutely yeah, yeah. uh yeah. i'll probably just have to do a spot on that show just to hang out with you guys but yeah uh I- friday night at jai tai in capitol hill seattle washington uh come on by see the mean boys Co headlining, actually, all three of y'all. Yeah, uh, we're, we're, try Tom, headlining. Yeah. And uh, Tom is flying a true out. Cerberus well, of comedy. <laughs> Tom is taking a train out, and so does far Tom know how out. little money we have <laughs> because <laughs> Tom Tom doesn't know anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that'll be a that'll be a good one, uh, Fudge. I always I never prepare for this part of it. Um, uh, yeah, good shit. Yeah, follow me. Up. Hey, yeah. I'm really dangerously close to a thousand followers on Instagram. Uh, get me there at Sesame Plexer. Do it. Do it right now. Yep. At Sesame Plexer, come at me. Whatever. I've got a lot of trash based content. Stuff I find on the street. You're gonna love it. <laughs> uh, yep. And uh, and yeah, and good things. Um, so hopefully, you know, hopefully all all, all on the rise from here. Yeah, awesome. d- do it up, and yeah, come see us uh, live podcast in Portland, August eighth. That's this Thursday. Bring a damn friend. Bring a social worker. Bring it's your August mom. 9th. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, that's right. August 9th. Yeah. August 9th in Portland, August tenth in Seattle. That's yep. right. There you and, go. And uh, fucking the links for that will be in the damn show notes. Uh, come out. We'd love to see you. Uh, after that, you can see your boy. I'm at Pachanga in Temecula, uh, August 31st and September 1st. I'm doing the, some of the Comedy Heights shows down in San Diego uh, from the 23rd to the 26th of August. And I'll be in uh, Laughs in Tucson, uh, September 7th and 8th. And I'll be at Lestats in San Diego. Love that show. Uh, September 11th, 9-11. Yay. Hey, uh, and uh, on by, the, by the way, I'll, I'll pre-announce: we may have a fun surprise for this year's 9/11 episode. Oh yeah, we might. Yeah, oh we, we had a discussion with you know who yeah, and uh, Shmeev Shmanazizi. Yeah, <laughs> we had Steve Ranazizi on a 9/11 episode last that's year. That's beautiful. So did not tell him that's what we were that doing. He, so he, he was amused by the, by it, and we we may be able to do a second annual Steve Ranazizi oh 9/11 God. spectacular. <laughs> That's and uh, come gorgeous. see me headline the Ontario Improv uh, September 26th if you're in Ontario or California. That'll be fun. So uh, <laughs> September 6th through 8th, I will be in San Diego doing the Comedy Heights run. I'll be posting uh, locations and times for that very, very soon. Uh, October 5th and 6th, I will be in Miami, Oklahoma. God help me at the Looney Saloon. October 12th and 13th, I'll be at Laughs in Tucson. And October 24th through the 27th, I will be at the Madhouse in San Diego. Oh, and one more mm-hmm. on, on the horizon if you're in the L.A. area. Doing a long set at uh, Chatterbox in West Covina, September 30th. That's a, that's one of the best shows in the country, and I'll be Oh, yeah, go to that shit. Yeah. There you go. Cool. Uh, it up. That's about it. Beautiful. Thanks for coming Thanks, in, Thanks, boys. Yeah. What a, and what a pleasure. Fuck everything. God is it. Oh,